everybody, how are you? It's Casey Zeman here, and I just got a question in YouTube Revealed's forum from Patty. And Patty asks, uh, Casey, how do I remove all those um, videos at the end of a YouTube video? So those are called related videos, and so how do you remove those? Well, Patty, um, <clears throat> excuse me, what's happening now is that YouTube actually, if you'll notice on this page here, You'll notice that when I click on the embed code, right? Um, this is how you share your videos. You can use the iframe right here. Take that, copy and paste it into a post, into a widget, really anywhere that where you can uh, have that in a web page. Here's the thing: YouTube automatically, at least on my videos, and I think maybe there are some settings in the back where you can enable this. On my videos, I have what's known as rel equals zero. You see that? Rel equals zero by default is already put on here. And that simply means that related videos will not be seen. Okay, so rel equals related videos and zero equals not happening. Okay, now if you saw a one there, one is yes, zero is no. So rel equals zero means no related videos. And as you can see here, I have it um, uh, as default on my iframe. Now, if you'll also notice right here, it says show suggested videos when the video finishes. If I clicked on that, that removed the rel equals zero, right? So now it will show all those additional videos. So I have this. So if, if you are having these videos at the end of your video, you want to look down here to see if this setting is actually set. So what you want to do is remove it, right? Now, another way to do this is you can actually use, I was going to say the old embed code. Now it's not giving me the old embed code, but this is a new video. But if you will notice here, I'm in somebody else's um, page, right? You'll notice here, I didn't have the old embed code, but you will notice that this one has rel equals zero already in the iframe. But now I want to show you this. So if you go to the use old embed code, you'll also see that rel equals zero right here. Okay. Now, if that rel equals zero was not there, that would simply mean that that the suggested or related videos would be appearing. So by default, you should be able to have the rel equals zero by default. Now, if it's not there and you and you aren't getting related videos, all you have to do is take your iframe and let's just assume that this didn't have rel equals zero here and this was this was just showing like this. Well, what you would do is you'd go into where the actual YouTube link is. So SCR, right? The SCR link. Here we go. Go to the end and you'd simply add rel equals zero. The same can apply if you use the old embed code. You would look for the link, the SRC, the embed link right there. And you'd look for the end of it here. And then you'd put the rel equals zero. Okay. So that is how you make the video not show those related videos at the end. Okay, so now let's look at it now that it's embedded into the web page. So let's click that. And it should just bounce, yep, right to the front. You see how it just went right back to the beginning. And that's how I embedded it. Okay, I embedded it by just simply taking as is and making sure that the rel equals zero was in there. Okay. And that's pretty much how it's done. You can either do the rel equals zero for the iframe or the object, you know, the HTML code right here. Okay. All right. Uh, so Patty, that, I hope that answers your question. And guys, I'm going to do another video um, that's going to be in another post all about how to add autoplay to your videos. Uh, a lot of people are still confused about how to do that. And so I'm going to show you this just little bit, little thing you can do just to add uh, to what very similarly to what we just did here 
to the URL of a YouTube video to have it autoplay. Okay, so in the next video, we'll be talking about that. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll talk to you very soon. Take care.